either you're really hungry or you really like that because we're getting a food <laughs> dance. Why do you and I dance when we like food? I don't know. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We are back at Downtown Disney for a very special opening night. Yes, uh, the reopening of Splitsville. Yes. If you're not familiar what Splitsville is, it is a bowling alley. Yes. But they also serve food. However, we are lucky that they are able to serve food outdoors only right now. Correct. But you know what? As we do in California, we will take any little bit of a reopening. And That's right joyful spot so we're gonna have dinner with our friends yeah no bowling just dinner but we're looking forward to it so uh let's get in there very nice we've got a table for five party of five you guys remember that show i don't anyways nice we're here and of course adam the woo joining us daily woo Woo! yes yes <laughs> theme park obsession dylan and michael okay, very good very good and katie obviously wait, best wait, life and beyond very good, thank you. <laughs> All right, we've got beverages. I have chosen to get a Modelo on tap, and look at the mug. That is like a proper, a proper beer mug. Cheers, everyone, cheers. God bless her. <laughs> okay, so Katie and I have not been here together in its regular form of Splitsville. We came for a, a Parks Blog event one time. You came here another time without me. Uh, that's, that's, we'll talk about that later. But uh, this is really our officially our first time being here together, uh, especially with the whole gang here. Yeah. And uh, what did you get? the situation provided. That's right. Would we have even done this if Disneyland wasn't closed? No, we would have split already. See what I did there? So the menu is so vast, and I, I got here so hungry that. This is actually a condensed version. Is it really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit bigger. Well, I had a hard time deciding because there's sushi here, there's pizza, there's burgers, there's salads. Yeah, I'll include that on the screen so you can see like what that. This menu is. It's one of those tough decision menus because everything looks good. Especially when you're really hungry, like. Like you know, I was. Like, yeah, you're. Stuck. I hadn't eaten since like nine o'clock this morning. And I'm dieting, so like my appetite. I went down just a little bit. Right. But I'm still like, you know, I got a veggie roll. All right. And you ended up getting what? I got the, uh, some sort of goddess chicken salad. What is it called? The Southern Goddess. I got the oh, Southern you Goddess. Went for it. Yes, and, and our waitress said that it was a good choice, that it's really good. It's got uh, deviled eggs, it's got chicken, it's got bacon, uh, all sorts of good things. It's got magic in the salad. It absolutely does. What doesn't it got? Uh, I don't know, it's got everything but the kitchen sink, apparently. And we're conveniently located. Look, there's Tortilla Joe's, say hi. Hi, Tortilla Joe's. Sorry, we're not cheating on you. We just had to we had to try this because it just opened up again. Uh, there is what we do here in California. We right. just like ride on every little thing. Like, That's right. The smallest thing happens and we're like That's right. It's it's worth noting that there is no bowling as of yet. No, you can't even eat inside. No, we're out on the patio here and uh, it's lovely. The food has arrived. There is my southern goddess salad fried chicken avocado. I, what else do I see in there? Oh man. Oh, there's the there's the deviled egg. Katie got a veggie roll, which looks delectable. Yeah, it looks like it's got like quinoa in there for like some extra protein. I love it. And then uh, looks like avocado, some red leaf lettuce, and some, I want to say those are onions, but they're probably not. They look uh, like onions to me, but who knows? I don't think they are. But, uh, it, but it's eight pieces, so that's good. Yeah, we got asparagus and uh, all kinds of veggies, and there are lots of peppers, tomatoes. Amazing. Adam also got a veggie roll, right? Got a veggie roll. And a mame. And then California roll, there it is. I'm in California for now. Dylan, what'd you get? I got the uh, poke bowl and it's with the uh, tuna. Oh, tuna poke bowl. Oh yeah, so good. Michael got the uh, chicken tenders with- uh, Chicken tenders with, with buffalo sauce sauce With buffalo it. sauce, okay, legit. We also got a cone of fries. It's a cone of silence. No, it's a cone of fries. Kitty's excited about the little sidecar of ranch dressing. I was expecting for it to be like on the thing, and I just see, look at it. If you just look at no, it, that's you're just stick it out. That's really the smart thing, though. Guys. I like, you know me, I like function. All right, that's, that's the meal. Here we go. We have also been provided with chopsticks, traditional 
traditional flatware, as it were. I don't even know if that's a, that makes sense, but there you go. <laughs> All right, Katie is the John Bonham of sushi at Downtown Disney. All right, Adam, how how is the veggie roll so far? It tastes exactly like you think it would taste. Okay, that's good. It tastes like vegetables. All right. It does not taste like sushi at all. Okay, Poke Bowl obsession. How is it over there? Oh, it's so good. Is it good? It's so good. All right. Yeah, pretty the tuna is too. Oh, it's good. Nice, yeah. All right, Michael, what do you think? <laughs> They're good. All right. Are you ponzoed now? Yeah. Let's see what you think. Also, I don't think I like the quinoa enough. Really? It's kind of different for a sushi to have quinoa. You like it? I'm going to eat this in one bite. Okay. Either you're really hungry or you really like that because we're getting a food dance. Why do you and I dance when we like food? I don't know. Something's wrong with I'm us. feeling it, whole body. <laughs> so this dressing, it's like a spicy kind of garlic. It's, it is a little spicy if you guys are um, at all deterred by spiciness. It is a little bit bitey. I like it, but a little bit of spice in there. I don't really care for that sauce. Too spicy for you? I don't like the flavor of it very much. Oh, but I do I do feel the kick. It's got a little kick, a little yeah. after kick, yeah. There's something in it I've had before in that dressing and I can't put my finger on it. I can't put my chopstick I was gonna on say, it. that very good. <laughs> Look who showed up from Tortilla Joe's. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming by. I know we couldn't make it to Tortilla Joe's, but we're glad you came by to say hello. We missed you. Oh, there you go. Katie's feeding him. All right, there's the bar. We're gonna kind of take a walk inside and show you guys what Splitsville looks like inside. Because you know you can't really be in here right now. But look at look at this fabulous bar and all the all the tables that normally would be accessible, but not right now. And then of course there's what the bowling alley looks like. Look at that. No pins over there in seven, eight, and nine, but you can imagine the fun you can have. And they have they have lanes upstairs as well. And of course there's lanes on the other side. Over here, there's four lanes over here. The golden lanes, with the California orange right there. Dinner was great. Uh, there was a, uh, kind of mixed reviews on certain items. Yeah, there was a few things that like, they weren't our favorite that we probably wouldn't order again, but right. still good. I mean, yeah. we never really ate ate there. So it's not, I think the That's problem true. is when we're here, we're just like Tortilla Joe's, Tortilla Joe's, Tortilla Joe's. We're pretty partial to uh, Tortilla Joe's, but I enjoyed the salad quite a bit. Uh, the sushi was, uh, eh, it was okay. just okay. Yeah, the veggie roll was pretty good. Yeah. I have to say, like, uh, I also just really like the veggie rolls from Whole Foods, but it was still good. I yeah. mean, and the french fries were delicious. And the atmosphere was great. The service was great. Fantastic. Uh, the beer was good. And uh, now we're going to head over to Buena Vista and get some dessert. Yay. <laughs> Sounds good, right? <laughs> I said yay because I know I can't have a lot, so I'm like, ah. Oh. But I just want to go to Buena Vista with you. Exactly. Let's let's head over to Buena Vista. And of course, our duck friends are enjoying the pond at Tortilla Joe's. Bye, guys. Headed back into Buena Vista. Nighttime. Dessert is on the menu, amongst other things. Buena Vista. Buena Vista. Buena Vista. Street. Yeah. Street. 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 street, 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 street. <laughs> <laughs> Making our way under the Hyperion Bridge. It sounds like we're on our way to get a churro, is, is what it sounds like. Always a beautiful sight, Carthay Circle. Quite a crowd here tonight for a, a Tuesday night. All right, Adam has procured a couple of vanilla shakes for us. Procured them. What yes. would go good with these? I think a churro would be perfect. <laughs> so we will yeah. now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's the hack. We're gonna get some churros and uh, really make this work. What happened here? Reestablish the uh, distance line. Uh -oh. I think it's the nighttime dew. Yeah. <laughs> it has like unattached it. I do I, believe you are correct, sir. The fact that it was squeaking. Wait, is dew in the nighttime? Morning is dew. Nighttime I don't know. mist. Mist. <laughs> I didn't know what that was. I tripped over. There's uh, something cool we need to film. They have the Jingle Bell light-up sipper. 
And the straw topper. Wait, what? They do. There's the straw topper and there's the... Is that what's glowing right here? Yeah. Look at the... Oh my gosh. And so there it is. The Mickey ears sipper with with a strap around it and everything, and it's it's got jingle bells in it. Wow! With the choice of an assorted bottled Coca Cola beverage. And Look then at, here's the straw the topper, which is right there. There's both of them. The peppermint. Candy. Oh yeah, I remember that. There it is in all its glowing glory. We didn't have the peppermint one. I thought we did. No, we had one similar, but it wasn't a peppermint. Well, you're remembering right, though. I stand, I stand corrected, but either way, it's very exciting. Oh, oh. It does, in fact, jingle. Can't you hear that jingle, jangle no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's money, money, money by the path. There they are. Wow, I wish you guys could smell right here. It smells amazing. Yeah. They now bag the churros. Yeah. I bagged a couple of churros. You did. <laughs> hurry, the baguettes. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> Look, there he goes with all the churros in his hand. We found this nice little table right here. Like when else are you gonna get to sit right here on Buena Vista Street and eat a churro Tomorrow. at a table? That's true, <laughs> tomorrow. That's true, and then the beautiful view of Spencer and the fountain and Carthay. This is a beautiful view. This is theme park dining at its finest. Carthay, hey, 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 hey. There's no hay here. It's Carthay, hey, hey. Oh, nice try. I, I think, Dylan, I think that works. That works, I like it. Thank that. you. So the hack is churro in a vanilla shake. Thick, isn't it? I don't even know if a paper straw is even made to consume this. I know we need like a spoon, huh? You know what? You know what'll be better? Is using your churro as a spoon. Oh, there it is. God. I see you've constructed oh. a new churro. <laughs> All right, Adam, here it is. Complete with his oh. Jedi robe. Oh. Oh, that's the call. Heck, I might dip a little dippy dip in this. Oh, suddenly someone is fond of vanilla ice cream. Little dipple do ya. The little vanilla e from my taste, but How dare you! Like this. Good day to you, sir. Good day. I said good day! <laughs> okay. Here we go. Is it amazing? You look amazed. It's the only way to do it. It's quite the hack. Can you guys hear me crunching the churro from behind the camera? That is a hack and a half. Is that say Marceline? Yeah, it's not a shoe, I think. There it is. Oh, yeah. Marceline. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I never it's upside that. down, but I it's know right it says there. laughogram on the side or a box. Oh, yeah. Box. Then if you look on the newspaper, it says Kansas City, Missouri. Making our way down Hollywood Boulevard, enjoying the neon glow after a nice meal at Splitsville. Our churro shake hack. It's almost like Shake Shack, Shake Hack. We did the Shake, shake Hack. Shack. Yeah. Shake Shack. <laughs> All right, over here at the uh, the border at Hollywood Studios, taking a look at the Pacific Electric Red Car at night, standing by. Someday it will carry travelers again, as well as Mickey in the window of Off the Page with Lumiere, and then Puppet Woody and Jesse. I love that. <laughs> Being controlled by the strings. Walking under the neon into Philhar Magic, and previously, last time I was here, this was all closed, this patio, but it is now accessible. See, little bit by bit, we're getting a little more open. Slowly but surely. Yes. Yeah. This was literally, this was literally off limits territory, and now we're a little bit closer. Just a little bit closer. Looks like they're eventually going to open this churro cart. Yeah, because look at it. Benches here. Which I don't think those benches are usually there. No, they're not. So that could be a sign. That is a good sign. Good old schmoozies. Which means if this opens, the next step would be to peer around. You can see Guardians. I would love to peer around over to Pixar Pier eventually too, but wouldn't it be cool, yeah, to be right next to Guardians and hanging out over there? Will probably open. Yeah, schmoozies next, I bet you. You can pretty much smell the churros. 
Oh man. And then getting to see the old Pacific Electric red car from the side. Oh, that is so cool. And we have a new window to look at. Look at that classy Christmas tree. There's Walt up there in that photo too. This is like a, it's like a screening chair. I want to sit in that chair. And... Did you see the Walt Disney? Oh, look at. Productions. There's Mickey. <laughs> I think we have one of those old projectors still in my family. That's so cool. And then yeah, there's a picture of Walt up there, a typewriter. One of Walt's hats, it almost looks like, right? <laughs> and it's really cool to see that extension. It just means good things, you guys. I, I, I do believe, if we're guessing correctly, that will be extended sooner than later. Fingers crossed. Heading out past Carthay, past the patio where we had dinner the other night. If you guys haven't seen that video, quite a treat. Taking a look at Avengers Campus, look at that lighting. That is like legit show lighting right there. Looking really good. That would be open right now. We would have been in there by now. Man. Spider-Man logo is a glow. Spidey sense in full effect. Okay, we just got really excited because the fuel rods are back! Yes, they are. Dude. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that earlier. Oh, that's, I, that's awesome. That is really cool. Oh, I forgot my fuel rod. Because this machine used to be inside. They moved it outside. I think there's one still inside. Okay. Yeah. Bring your fuel rods, everybody. Charge them back up. Yeah. Woo. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up from Buena Vista Street and, of course, Splitsville. That was really cool to get back over there and give her a try. It sure was. It was try. something to celebrate, and I'm glad we got to enjoy another night with some of our friends. Yes. Nothing is better than having your friends at Disney. Yep. The fact that we can be safe and just enjoy everything is amazing. It's the best. And uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody. I'm You're very focused. It's all yellow out here. I'm very focused. I'm a very focused individual.